Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new video. And today I decided to do something a bit more creative and fun. I think that height differences in dramas are so cute, especially when the female lead is clearly sh way shorter than the male lead. And I know that technically a lot of dramas can count for this or almost all dramas because there is a height difference between the leads. But this one is more for the noticeable couples where there's a bigger gap. Let me know if there's any other dramas that I missed or I haven't seen and I'll check those ones out. And subscribe if you haven't already. You already know the drill by now. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And as usual, all names, titles, links are down in the description box below. At ninth place, I chose Lucky's First Love. This is a 24 episode Aichi drama that aired in 2019. It is a rom com life youth drama between a boss and employee, and the leads are Bai Lu and Xing Jiao Lin. This drama has multiple couples, but the main lead has the most noticeable height differences. It follows three couples, but the main plot is around. The leading couple, the female lead is a new recruit to a gaming company, while the male lead is the boss and he's about to take over after his family's business. It's not completely new or refreshing in any way, but if you just want a sweet, fluffy, light drama with friendship and romance, then this one might be for you. A bonus to this is watchers really enjoy the kissing scenes and says they're not just small pecs or the typical surface level kisses. They're more meaningful and passionate. The next drama I chose is Master Devil Do Not Kiss Me. This drama has 23 episodes and it aired in 2017. This is one of the first dramas that made the leads popular. So the leads are Fair Xing Fei and Li Hong Yi. This is very reminiscent to Boys Over Flowers or Meteor Garden that type of classic trope but on top of that you even have cohabitation it's also an enemies to lovers story so the female lead is a poor girl while the male lead is at the top of the school and he's basically the prince charming of the school however he's quite unapproachable but due to an incident they had to live together and it's just really fun if you like that type of dynamic it's a classic story filled with tropes, but also such a fun time. Also, these episodes are only 20 minutes each, so super fast to just watch it in one go. The next drama I chose is My Love, Enlighten Me. This one has 24 episodes and aired in 2020. It's a rom-com, but it has a deeper storyline that involves realistic slice-of-life stuff that I really appreciated. So the main leads are Eleanor Lee or Lee Kai Shin and Leon Long. The story follows a 22 year old pop singer who is struggling to find what her love, her passion is and what she wants to do for the rest of her life because unfortunately her group disbanded over one night. She ends up working at a fashion department store and slowly she falls back in love with fashion. You see her transform from a girl who doesn't really know what to do and she's a bit clumsy and distressed with so much happening around her. And eventually you see her become very strong, independent and work really hard to get to where she is by the end of the show. The male lead is your typical cold on the outside, sweet in the inside. And due to a situation, I think her best friend lends her a place to live and the male lead is actually her best friend's brother. There was a little bit of a misunderstanding between them or they were kind of cold to each other and distant, but by the end of it, of course, they fall in love. If you want romance, comedy, but still a little bit of depth, I think this one has a lot of meaningful life lessons and heartwarming scenes and character development. Number six, I chose Falling Into Your Smile. This drama aired in 2021 and it stars Shu Kai and Cheng Xiao. It has 31 episodes. It's a friendship, romance, life, youth, and gaming drama. And the story is about a popular esports group called ZGDX. And the male lead is the captain of this group. Due to an injury of one of the players on the team, this allowed our female lead to win the spot as the first ever female player in the esports world in China. 
and after joining of course there's vigorous training and you just see them go through battles for the championship of course and we see a lot of drama backstory between the team members you get to know all of them and eventually of course the main leads fall in love I really enjoyed the gaming aspect in this one and just in general the friendship. Of course the romance was cute as well and I also appreciate how much the female lead loves cats and that was just like a nice little bonus. This has a great soundtrack as well. So if you haven't already make sure to check it out. For fifth place I chose Put Your Head on My Shoulder. This one has 24 episodes. It's a rom-com romance between Fair Xingfei and Lin Yi. This is a cohabitation drama between a graduating student, the female lead, who's trying to navigate where to go next after the next year of her career. She's trying to do internships and try to figure it all out. This is when she meets the male lead who is from the physics department. He is basically an all-rounder student good looks good at everything basically smart as well and they accidentally end up living together my next pick is 2018's meteor garden this drama has 50 episodes and it's based off of the original manga henna yori dango ever since that there's been so many adaptations we have mostly live adaptations with japan korea Soon there will be a Thailand version too, and of course, the one we're talking about today is Chinese. This stars Shen Yue, Dylan Wang, Darren Chen, Caesar Wu, and Leon Leong. This is about an ordinary poor girl who gets to be admitted to one of the most prestigious elite schools in the country. This is a high school, and this is where she meets F4, an exclusive group with the wealthiest, most handsome boys that rule the school. They are called F4, and she actually gets into a fight with the leader. He kind of bullies her, but later on they become friends and they fall madly in love. In third place, I chose My Little Happiness, starring Fair Xing Fei and Tang Xiaotian. It has 28 episodes and it aired in 2021. The female lead is a law intern, and she ends up going back to her hometown and she meets her childhood friend, which is the male lead, who is now a successful surgeon. If you like watching your male leads chase the female lead and like them first, then this one is for you. It's actually kind of rare if you think about it now, when you have the male lead chase the female lead for quite a long time until she agrees. It's usually like a mutual feeling type of thing, but here you have the male lead who likes her a lot more and it's really cute. Honestly, there's not too much to say about this. I love the chemistry. Of course, it's just cuteness, fluffiness, and sweet moments everywhere. If you like any of Fair Shing's other works, you would know. These two are great friends, so that's good. They worked together on Put Your Head on My Shoulder, where he was the second male lead. And now he finally gets a girl in this one, and I actually enjoyed this one a little bit more than the other one. In second place, I chose Perfect and Casual. This has 24 episodes. It's a rom-com school contract marriage drama starring Miles Wei and Shu Rohan. In this drama, the male lead is known as the cold, icy male god professor, and a lot of girls have a crush on him. He's quite young and attractive. And the female lead is a student at a university. She put all her savings, I think, and trust into this one person to get a place for her to live. And one day she shows up and he's like, this is my house. I think you've been conned. And they end up trying to work out a situation where they'll live together. I feel like when I say that it's a contract marriage, you would probably guess all of the tropes and things that will happen in this drama. And yes, it does happen. But for some reason... This one stands out just because I feel like the chemistry feels sweet but natural. The progress and I think the writing of the drama in general feels so natural and just really good. Very addictive series. If you haven't seen it, then you should. Last but never least is A Love So Beautiful as number one. I think it's kind of predictable and a lot of people would say this is overhyped, but I really don't think so. In 23 episodes, this drama beautifully encapsulates the romance, the friendship, and just all the feels in one drama. This stars Hu Yitian, Shen Yue, Gao Jiuting, Wang Jiu Wei, and Sun Ning. 
The main leads are childhood friends and classmates for a while now. The female lead is a cheerful girl who's kind of dumb. Uh, she doesn't really know how to study. And the male lead is the perfect popular guy. However, he's a little bit colder and he has high grades, good looks. And together of the rest of the cast members, you just see them all kind of just be in high school, grow up, have these hilarious, fun and realistic, very nostalgic moments in high school and then mature into their university selves and then later on to their successful life after university. I think this is one of the dramas that first made me obsessed with Chinese dramas. I've been always watching Chinese dramas for the past like seven, eight years on and off, but it wasn't until I think 2017 that I really started enjoying and watching more Chinese dramas than any other Asian dramas. Let me know in the comments below which one are your favorites and if there are underrated cute romances that you recommend then let me know in the comments down below as well. If you want to buy me a Kofi, make sure to check down the description box below and I'll leave links to that. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!